All right, so angular.module is a global place for creating, registering, and retrieving Angular modules. Uh, a module, like I mentioned, is like a phone book. It's a collection of directives, components, controllers, and other stuff. So let's look at what the other stuff is a bit later. Right now, we know that there are certain things in Angular uh, that we've used and are already familiar with. We are familiar with directives, and now we are familiar with controllers. It's just a way of executing functions. So you register all these things. You register directives and controllers in the module. And uh, the way to create a module is using the syntax. var your variable name equals angular.module. And you give it two arguments. The first argument is the name of your module. The second argument is an empty array. Here again, Angular is a global object that you get by adding the Angular script. And of course, the square bracket, uh, the empty square brackets, which is an empty array, is super important. We'll cover what that is and why we need it a little bit later. But for now, when you're creating a module, just make sure your second argument is always an empty array. Once you've created a module like this, you need to be able to use it in your HTML. So here I'm using the name my module. In the code example, we created a module called my app. The name here doesn't matter. What matters is whatever name you use in your uh, create module code, you've got to use that in ng app, right? Whatever name you have over here should be the same name here when you are having an ng app. This is what ties these two things for Angular. All right, so now that you have created a module, you need to register your controllers, right? A module is like a collection of things. So anything that you want to use has to be registered with the controller. So the way to register it is by doing something like this. So let's say you have a main function, which has a simple console.log statement. Now you have an Angular module created by using the syntax. Then you register it by doing the module object dot controller. And then you pass in two arguments. First is the name of the controller. Second is the name of the function. You got to remember here that you're registering the controller in the module, not with Angular, right? You use the Angular object just to get a module, to prepare a new module using the angular.module. Now that you have this module object, you're going to register things to this module object, not to Angular. So you have my module.controller, you pass in these two arguments. All right, so now that you've created this thing, you've registered your controller, next you use it by using ng-controller and the value of ng-controller attribute will be the name of the controller that you've registered it as. Again, notice it's not the name of the function. The name of the function could be anything. What you're registering here is the name of the controller. So it, here it's registered as main controller. So you just use main controller over here. The my module should be same as this my module here. This name should be same as this name. And then this name for the controller should be same as this name.